Hello, my name is Scott, and I travel the country looking for unique, rare, and special cars. There is nothing I enjoy more than finding a low mileage and all original classic. Part of the excitement for me is learning about the individual cars and their history from their previous owners. All cars have a story. Some were loved and cared for, while others were treated as a tool for transportation or racing. That's my story, and these are my cars. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my channel below, leave us a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Today's journey leads us to a garage that hasn't been disturbed in about 30 years. And what I found was truly amazing. These are the views as we open the garage door and let the sun shine in. Take a look as I help declutter the years of stuff surrounding the car. As remarkable as it sounds, putting a battery charger on it and a little bit of fresh gas, we got it to start up with a little effort and I was able to drive it to my trailer to get it loaded. On the way home, I decided to take a quick stop at a friend's house, and the two of us decided we should give the Marlin its first wash since it was parked 30-some years ago by the original owner. I was so impressed with how it looked, I decided to leave the paint as it shows, and it was never polished since. Enjoy, and here's the story of how the car is now. Hey, good afternoon guys. Today we're going to be looking at my 1966 AMC Marlin. 44,000 miles, one family owned, bought brand new, stayed in the family. It's actually a family heirloom. Look how that door closes, absolutely perfect. So, many of you probably don't know, AMC Marlin, <clears throat> most people kind of think it's a charger which is ironic because the Chargers came out mid-1966. These came out, I believe, February 10th of 1965. So definitely the precursor to a Charger. The Chargers kind of copied their body style. Through your production window, 1965, they made about 10,000 of them. This one being in 1966, numbers dropped down to 4,500, roughly 4,547, I believe. Then in 67, they dropped again to 2,500. Interestingly, 1965, they were called Rambler Marlins. 1966, they got their name reduced just to Marlin, and it was a, more of a standalone, even though exact same car for the most part. Differences very few. 67 they moved up to the ambassador body. Some people like them more, some people less. To me it's bigger. The true spirit of the first gen is always the, the one for me. Just look at the detail, the chrome, everything about it. All original paint, all original, everything you can imagine. Bought brand new at Cheryl Motor Company. Youngstown, Ohio. All the paperwork with the car comes with it since new. We've got the original window sticker, all the manuals. Owner's manuals, that is. Pretty much every receipt from the car from brand new. So, interesting story. Mr. Carpenter, the original owner of this car, him and his son went down in 1966 to pick up, uh, pick out a brand new Rambler. And his son saw this and fell in love with it. Somehow he talked his dad into buying this. They came home with a Marlin. Now the woman I bought it off of was the daughter. She remembers the day it came home. She's uh, written a brief little description to tell us about it. 
but she verifies 44,000 original miles. Been in the family since new. If you take a look, you can see all the original Westinghouse light bulbs, the emblems. You don't see them much with the translucent. All that always fades away. People come in and try to paint them after the fact. They just don't look right. And come, let's take a look at some of the other emblems while we're standing around. The color is code 24, which is Cavalero Tan. See how pretty the emblems are? That one's a little bit more faded than the others, but it's still beautiful, way, way nicer than most. This car, brand new, was $2,601 as a base price. This one has a few options. Pretty interesting, I guess. Um, give you a couple of the options here. I know a little bit of their cost. Has airline reclining seats, which we'll look at in the middle. Let's take a look at the uh, that original emblem there. Absolutely gorgeous. Colors are just something you don't see. So, airline reclining seats with a split bench. It's got the 232 six cylinder, two barrel carbs. Solex glass. Interesting enough, one of the most expensive options was I paid thirty-two dollars and forty cents for white wall tires, and then the hubcaps, the turbo cast hubcaps, were actually, I believe, a forty-five dollar option, forty-five dollars and forty-five cents for those hubcaps. One of the most expensive options on the car. As crazy as that seems. If you take a quick look, you can kind of see a little bit of the blue tint on the original tailpipe. The blue tint, I don't know if you can pick it up on there. The blue tint's the original ceramic coating, ceramic coated exhaust. It's crazy. This car's never been detailed. As far as a professional detail, this is pretty much the way it was when I got it, outside of washing it. A little more detail. Yeah, take a look at that other emblem. Go ahead and pop the hood for you. Take a look under the hood real quick. Oh, come on. Here we go. All right, so reason I didn't want to drive it on the road a lot. Original radiator cap, original hose clamps, original hoses, original heater hoses. You can still see the stripes on them, the factory stripes from when new. All right, so we got original fuel pump, original Packard spark plug wires. We'll have pictures of everything posted up later. All the inner fenders, everything's original under here. Nothing's been painted on, nothing's been done. With the exception of, I believe, when it was brand new, the dealership charged extra for a little undercoating. And it uh, looks like the owner probably wasn't happy. You can see they tried to dust in a little color over the top to clean up the little bit of sloppiness. But original, hard to say there, Motorola ignition module. Original Motorola alternator, original hood mat. Here, here's a couple pictures of the 232 two barrel, the 66 Marlin, original radiator cap, original washer bag. Everything we can see, all original. Really hard to believe. Even down to the original date coated. There we go. Port radiator. Hey 
All right, here's the first drive of the 1966 AMC Marlin. Three on the tree, Survivor. 44,694 miles as we speak. One owner, one family owned since brand new. Unrestored, all original. This car is a true timepiece. We're not gonna take it out on the road today very much but just wanted to give you a quick video to show how it drives it has the original belts hoses everything you can imagine under the hood is original you just don't want to be the one that blows a radiator hose or loses the original belt but definitely want everybody to see it drives and how well it drives just as you would expect with a 44,000 mile car front ends tight Brakes work great. There's first gear. Second gear, and now we're cruising. No issues whatsoever. Original wheel cylinders have been rebuilt, same as the original master cylinder. Original water pump. Doesn't get much better than this. Look around, it's just brand new. to describe it. This car could be a driver anywhere you wanted to go, but due to the old hoses and definitely the old fan belt, I would not recommend it. That's why we just wanted to go through a little park setting to show it is fully functional. Front end's tight. Everything's good. It's actually a pretty amazing car. She really did a number with a turned aluminum on the dash, all the chrome bright work. It's hard to believe this competed with a Mustang, a Barracuda, a Camaro. Many people think a Charger. This, there's really nothing that compares. I mean, this thing's just beautiful. these cars didn't take off more than they did when they were brand new. Only a three-year production window. This is the first time this car has been driven on the road since the late 80s, mid-late 80s. I'm guessing probably 87, 88. It is a true survivor.
takes you back to simpler times. Definitely check out those cool aircraft reclining seats. Of course, they'll go down all the way if you roll the seats forward. Almost making it a bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the Marlin. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos. Subscribe and give us a like. Comments are welcome. Thank you.